सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट एल एल एम एजेंट राइट आई मीन व्हाट एल एल एम एजेंट इज व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन्वॉल्व इन इट लाइक डिटेक्टिंग इंटेंट प्लानिंग रिजनिंग इंटेंट टूल कॉल्स एंड आउटपुट जनरेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टी एजेंटिक अप्रोच राइट हाउ मल्टी एजेंट सिस्टम कैन वर्क दैट मीन्स यू सी दिस एंटायर थिंग दैट यू हैव ड्रॉन यर राइट लेट मी जस्ट If you see this entire box, this uh, this entire entity that that you see, right? The all this uh, four step that is involved. This is a single agent, right? Now, what we are trying to do here, we are trying to combine these multiple things, right? If I group this and just you know, we are we are we are trying to combine multiple of of this, okay, to generate more powerful output, okay. and more accurate output okay so this is what multi agent architectures look like basically harnessing the power of multiple agents now in this video basically what we are going to do we are going to discuss different type of architectures that are available as you saw in a previous video we designed llm agents using langchain then we designed a llm agent from scratch right now we'll see different type of multi agent architectures that are available okay and which the you know coding community is using so i am here in the langchain documentation page So if you see here, here, here it is uh, defining agent as an you know system that uses LLM to decide the control flow of an application. So as you develop the system, they might grow more complex over time, so making it harder to manage and scale. So the reason for multi designing multi-agent system is to because if you want to have a single agent to solve all of your problems, it will be very complex to design. So what we want to do, we want we want to break down the functionality of your uh, application into multiple sub actions or sub tasks or sub agents. then assign that to individual agents then let them run and let them process parallelly and independently then we'll combine the output of all these agents to generate the final output for a given user query because a user query can be complex right? it, it is not very much it, it cannot be always simple right calculate this for me or what is the weather of this it can uh, involve complex calculations where you where you where in in one step you might need to browse the web in in the another step you might need to you know process images or process uh, pdfs right or process Videos maybe online videos. So there can be multiple steps to answer a use complex query. So in order to solve complex queries, to handle complex queries given by the user, we want a multi-agent system. Okay. So in we know what is a single agent. So now we are want to now we want to have a multi-agent system like this. So so it is de defining three problems. I mean having a single agent system can have some problems like agent has too many tools at its disposal. it can make poorer decision if you want to have a single agent to solve all of your problems the decision making can be poorer right so instead of we can group them into a relevant set of sub tasks and then have different separate agents for that so context grows too complex for a single agent to keep track of obviously a uh, single agent will be will be you know feeding in a lot of context right like this if you see for each uh, for this intent detection we are having an llm and uh, this content uh, this intent detection step itself will become complex if we have a lot of in, uh, things to solve so so the benefit of so to solve all these problems we want to have a multi agent system multi agent system has this benefit obviously modularity because a agent will be focusing on a different sub subset of task and it will be specialized to do do uh, such kind of task is the other uh, agent won't be able to let's say one agent is one agent is specialized in Uh, generating finance uh, analyzing financial stocks and financial news and uh, generating output one agent might be you know efficient in uh, analyzing the law documents and uh, laws and law law books and law documents to generate insights about uh, qu queries about laws and all right and one might be um, efficient one agent might be efficient in uh, analyzing multiple research paper on a given topic and generate insights for uh, for a given user query so this is what specialization means uh, and obviously we have more control over the quality of the output because we are following a modular approach here now let's see what are the different kind of multi agent architecture that user uh, people are using here okay so the first is the single agent which you already saw in a previous video you have a bunch of tools available at your disposal like this okay and do you do do the tool call generate the output one is the network architecture like we have agents which will communicate communicate with each other okay let's so we have uh, this kind of agents here so each of this green box that you see here right so these are the green boxes here okay so in the network architecture if each of the agent is communicating with each other it will exchange outputs uh, and generate in, generate the final outputs accordingly 
so it is a quite complex architecture and if you see the third architecture is supervisor architecture uh, there will be one node which will be the master node basically it knows uh, it knows the entire thing i mean it first understand what needs to be done it uh, um, breaks down a complex task into multiple sub task then it uh, assigns the sub task to individual agents okay then it will collect the information and output from each of these agent collect the output collect the output from this agent then generate a final response for the given user query so mostly you'll find a supervised architecture being used for most of the for solving most of the complex problems now if you see here so the supervisor is tool application is being used here instead of having an agent to oh, agent as a supervisor what we are doing we are having a llm as the supervisor and we have a bunch of agents as the tools which will be using which will be using to generate the output for a given query now there are two other types of uh, two other types of architecture also hierarchical and uh, custom in hierarchical it is a quite complex architecture and the custom architecture where we, you define your own flow control flow based on the requirement of your application so you see here uh, i mean whatever we discuss about architecture it is being mentioned here also so in supervisor architecture each agent communicates with a single supervisor we have a single master there so supervisor agent makes decision on which agent should be called next and generate the output accordingly again in the third architecture supervisor is a tool calling this is a special case of supervisor architecture so where individual agents will be used as a tools instead of having a single function we'll have individual agents as the tools uh, then we'll have kind of you know llm to supervise the control flow to solve a given problem then use those uh, agents as tool to give an, uh, answer a given answer the given user queries okay now as you saw here uh, hierarchical architecture is quite complex and it is actually quite capable of solving more complex tasks okay so generally we'll, we'll be uh, seeing people using this supervisor supervisor architecture and hierarchical architecture for simple applications people use single agent flow okay so you can go through this uh, documentation i'll put the documentation link in the description it is given code samples also how to design a multi agent architecture so the core is to understand how to implement a single agent first okay from scratch once you understand this step it will be very much helpful for you to design any kind of multi agent architecture to solve a given problem so you can watch my previous video where i have discussed about how to implement uh, llm agent using langs and how to or implement llm agents from scratch like this so it will be it will give you a proper insight of how to uh, st code things from scratch okay so yeah that was about the multi agent architectures and different type uh, type of architectures uh, available for multi agent for designing multi agent systems so if you found this video helpful uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel because we are targeting to reach 18, 1800 subscribers by the end of this month so keep supporting so if you have any questions about whatever we discuss in this video put them in the comment section i'll be sure to answer them So I'll see you in the next video until then take care and bye bye thank you